Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is Weird Genius. Guys, today again I am with a new video around ESP266 and Arduino IDE. So in this, we will see how to send data from the ESP266 module to a local server as well as online server. So if you have not checked my earlier video on getting started with Arduino IDE and ESP266 module, you can check my earlier video on this. So if you have not programmed ESP266 module by using Arduino IDE before, you should check out the video first and you can continue after that. So to send data to server, I have used Wi-Fi client or the raw method over here and there is another method of sending data that is using HTTP client which will cover up in upcoming videos. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, to start with, let's go through the code first. And it's over here. So this is the code that will send a GET request to our local server. And it will print out the data fetched from the server. So we'll try with a local server as well as we'll try with Google. Uh, so the code is something like this. The first we have defined the SSID as well as the password for the or like your Wi-Fi network or anything, whatever you are using as uh, your hotspot. So next is the static IP parameters. That is the IP, the gateway the DNS and the netmask. So in this example I have taken static IP for my network but if you are interested you can go with DSCP no issue with that but uh, if you are interested in static IP you can use these three things over here but if you are using DSCP just simply comment out these three so I will just keep it as I am using static IP and the next line is your host host is something where you want to send your data like it might be google.com or it, if you are having a local server like me, it will be your server IP address. Then inside the setup, I have just initialized the serial port for debugging. Then nothing else. I have just printed out a couple of things like this uh, debug statement connecting to with SSID. And over here, the wifi.config text the gateway, DNS, IP and netmask. So if you are using static IP, you can use this. Otherwise, if you are uh, like going with DSCP, simply comment out this. But if you are using this, you need to define your IP, gateway and netmask over here. Then Wi-Fi.begin SSID password simply connects to your provided Wi-Fi hotspot or your SSID. Level. Then it's a simple loop which uh, confirms that we have connected to the network or the Wi-Fi network. Then it will print out that simply Wi-Fi is connected. Now coming to the loop, it's simple delay statement. Then it, will, it is printing out that connecting to host or whatever the IP or the website name. Then we have created a Wi-Fi client. So this is a simple uh, like Wi-Fi client is some simple TCP connection from the ESP266 module to the server. So and over here we have defined the port which the server listens to. Now next is the client.connect connects to your host and to a particular port. So it may be like if you are using default port that might be 80 or if you are let's say Using some other services, you can go ahead with port that is being supported by your server. So if this connection is not happening, then it will print out connection failed and this loop will simply exit. Now the string URL is the relative path or the path to the page where you want to access the data. Like for me, it is like onto the test folder and index.php file but as by default index.php is called I have not used over here but if you are calling a different file let's say you are using to say save some sensor data or something like save sensor or something you can use or add the file name over here okay 
So let's remove this. This is not required right now. And over here, I have simply used one like client.print will just pass these parameters and the def uh, these protocols details onto the client or the TCP connection. This will write down onto the TCP connection. Then uh, it will wait till the data is uh, like uh, echoed back or responded from the server. So it waits up to 25 seconds and if no data is received within that time then it will simply exit. So if it returns the while loop will come, like break and come out and uh, it will uh, now if it returns this over here will get false so the while loop will get exit. Now until data is available we are simply printing out into the serial console. And after that, just we are closing the connection by using the command client.stop. So guys, for this, I have used Wi-Fi client. There is another method to like communicate with a server. That is HTTP client. Oh, and we'll see that in our coming videos. So let's put into the Arduino. And we just put that code onto our ESP8266 module and see if it works. Here it comes. So let's put this code over here. The Arduino ID and let's verify it. Okay. Uh, I'll just use the code in the value. Okay. okay, the code has been successfully compiled. So let's connect our SP2 system module to the PC. So if you are new to this and you have never programmed your SP2 system module by using the Arduino IDE, you can check my earlier video on this, how to get started with this and then you can run this application. So after it has compiled, let's put our code into the SP2 system module. Okay, so the actually it's not connected. Connected right now. Okay, again, going error. Now let's upload. Yep, it's uploading. It might take some time. Let's open up the serial terminal. Wi-Fi is connected. Trying to okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, so you can see over here. 
it has returned the 404 not found okay yeah, i'm sure my server is actually responding uh, but uh, okay uh, uh sorry I just uh, forgot that S over there. So again, uh, let's put this board to a board. Uh, now this over here actually can come useful if you are using a DHCP connection. So it will print out the IP. That will help you to like check if it is connected to your network or not, or you can be used for ping or other things. So now you can see uh, this is like successfully returned uh, some values from the like server page what I designed, and that is put it that is the response from the server, and along with other uh, like parameters. And over here you can see 200 OK, that means it has successfully fetched the response from the server so it's perfectly working with our local server let's change it to uh, like google or something online server or internet so i'll try a query Now, let's put this code into the ESP266. So, this is uh, showing error over here. But thing is, uh, as I have not used any like structured server or something, it is showing error over here. But uh, if you are like sending out data to something like uh, Adafruit or Thinkspeak or any website that supports uh, API and all, they can send and receive data by using this. And this shows that we are able to connect to internet because this over here is respond from the Google.com. So, so we have checked out for local as well as uh, internet connectivity onto our ESP266 module by using Wi-Fi client. One more thing, as we are using get call over here, we can pass our parameters in the URL. So let's say you want to send parameters or multiple parameters to your server, you can put your data in this URL over here. So like uh, let's say I have used query or queue and let's say I want to pass another parameter, let's say temp, then equals to some value let's say 76 or something. So I can, this can... Uh, go on like uh, the number it depends number of parameter you want to send out so that's all with this guys thank you thanks for watching see you next time